the men who may well feature and Andrew Pozzi has looked so good in qualifying and so good this season and the buzz and the cheers from events in the field and then your silence for well just a little bit of noise from those events and the uh, long jump carrying on and what he have uh, qualified so finishing the top two and the trip to Rio is guaranteed the final of the men's 110 meters hurdles Cleanly away, and uh, King is just about first to rise in the middle, and Potsy trying to get back to him now, and it's Clark and Potsy clear at the moment, and Potsy moving along strongly, moving well, moving quickly between the barriers, and it's Andrew Potsy, after all those injuries, he comes back and he takes the title, 13-31, into a fairly strong breeze as well, it's a new personal best, and he's back to his best, and better, Andrew Potsy's the champion, and it's such a popular victory, he takes it from Lawrence Clark, deposes him as champion, but they're both heading to Rio, and the two men with the quickest times are on their way to Brazil, but the champion is Andrew Pozzi, and that was superb, because again, he delivered, and you think that all he's gone through in uh, hurdling terms, and Colin Jackson alongside me knows all about the injuries that can happen, it's, it can be a very, very hard event in the body, and Pozzi knows that, and for him to take the title in that time, very impressive. It's really good to see him back on the track. Training is very difficult for this young man. I can't really reiterate to anybody 